This is the Ansel Automotive Battery Tester BA201 for 12 volt automotive batteries. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the unit itself right over here, battery clamps, this has a color LCD screen. You get the user's manual, a nice uh, little pouch for it here which is actually embroidered with uh, the company name on there and also a USB cable. This is USB to mini B which would plug into the bottom of the unit and that cable is used for one of two functions. One if there's a software update for this you get lifetime support on it for the updates so you can download that and it'll flash the firmware in it for you. The second thing is it can store the information about the battery you just tested and can connect up to the computer so you can actually print that information out. Now this will test automotive batteries from 100 to 2000 cold cranking amps. It'll do all different types of batteries, regular flooded, AGM or absorbed glass mat, AGM spiral, gel and EFB batteries. Uh, doesn't do much good here so let's go take it out to the car and see what it can do. Alright, hookup is very very simple. Basically it's red to red, black to black. This car has a cover over the, the red. Doesn't matter which one you hook up first. So we'll just go ahead and connect that. Just like that. And the screen comes up. Okay, here's the main menu here. We'll go right to check. So we'll select that. It asks in vehicle or out of vehicle. It's in vehicle, so we'll choose that. And you have three tests, the battery test, cranking test, and charging test. So we'll do the battery test first. Press enter on that, and it says check surface charge, turn lights on. Take headlights on about 10 seconds and turn lights off. So let me go and do that. Okay, we'll press enter and it asks what type. So again, you had your regular flooded, AGM, gel, etc. So this is a regular flooded car battery, so we're going to choose that. And it wants you to select a standard. The easiest one for most people is the CCA, or the cold cranking amps. And you'll find that on a sticker on the battery. There it is right there. This battery is 650 cold cranking amps. So we'll press enter and now we just run it up to 650. Press enter and it says under measurement and right there it shows you within a second SOH is state of health it says 60 percent battery is good but needs a charging and it gives you some other information here saying it's only giving you about 392 cold cranking amps based on the standard of 650 and uh, it's putting out 12.04 volts now I know this to be the case because this is an older battery and I know it's going to be on its way out so I believe this to be correct next is the cranking test so we'll go over to that press enter and it says please turn off the engine before pressing enter to enter the test the engine is off and now it says start engine So now it says the time was 5,005 milliseconds. That's how long it actually cranked. Maximum voltage during cranking was 10.94 and minimum is 8.39. It says cranking low. That's an indication if you have this tool that your battery is certainly on its way out and chances are very good you're going to be left stranded. So you'd want to either proactively replace your battery or throw a set of jumper cables in the trunk to be prepared for when it does finally happen and then you can replace it. Now we'll go to the charging test. It's doing a ripple test right now with a graph there. And now it's doing loaded testing and it says increase RPM to 2500 revolutions per minute and keep it for five seconds 
then press enter to continue. So we'll press enter and it says testing and it says loaded is 13.55 volts unloaded is 13.72 volts which is actually interesting and uh, the ripple is 70 millivolts this can also show you a waveform it'll show you the current voltage maximum voltage and minimum voltage now we can also review that so if we go to review we'll do review waveform waveform one and you can see how that goes across and over here it's showing you the duration of the test and the voltage flickering up and down as it goes and it can also show you the last result which was the last test that i did on the battery so once again this was the ansel automotive battery tester ba201 for 12 volt automotive batteries if you'd like to purchase this item i'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the unit available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.